Elon Musk, the innovative CEO of Tesla, has once again adjusted the timeline for the eagerly anticipated Cybertruck. The new date for the release is 2025. The announcement was made at a press conference, and its effects were felt immediately, sparking conversations about the offerings of competitors, the impact of new technologies, and the changing landscape of electric vehicles. When it was originally shown off in 2019, the Cybertruck represented a radical departure from the norm for trucks. Disagreements arose over its futuristic styling and angular stainless steel exoskeleton, but few can deny that it was a game-changer in the truck industry. It was obvious that Musk wanted to disrupt the traditionally gasoline-powered pickup truck market. Since its exciting debut, however, the Cybertruck's voyage has been fraught with setbacks that have pushed back its production date. The new target date of 2025 has sparked a lot of conjecture and doubts. The worldwide supply chain, Disruptions aggravated by the COVID-19 epidemic and geopolitical tensions are all concerns that have been cited by experts in the industry. A vehicle with such radical features as bulletproof glass and an ultra-strong 30x cold, rolled stainless steel exterior necessitates the development of novel production processes and materials. Meanwhile, Tesla's rivals aren't sitting still either. With the release of the R1, Rivian has made tremendous progress toward becoming the market leader in electric trucks. Because of its superior off-road performance and high-end amenities, the R1 has raised the bar for its competition. The Ford F-150 Lightning is an electric version of America's best-selling vehicle, and it has been met with great enthusiasm from both traditional truck fans and EV aficionados due to its successful combination of familiar design with electric efficiency. General Motors' GMC Hummer EV revives a legendary brand with a cutting-edge electric design, providing exceptional performance for a hefty price. These vehicles demonstrate the increasing variety in the electric truck sector, which Tesla set out to revolutionize. The Cybertruck is important not just because it looks cool and has some cool functions in the works. It's a huge deal because it means Tesla is finally breaking into a hugely profitable and symbolically significant market segment in the USA. Pickup trucks are multi-purpose machines. They represent American grit, ingenuity, and a spirit of exploration, all of which are deeply ingrained in the national psyche. Tesla's ambition to infiltrate this sector is not just about selling trucks. It's about shifting views and broadening the reach of electric automobiles. Tesla's approach to the Cybertruck also reflects a larger strategy that contrasts dramatically from traditional manufacturers, where businesses like Ford and General Motors have leaned toward the familiarity of their legacy designs. Tesla has always opted to be a disruptive industry leader through radical innovation. This tactic has had both positive and negative results. One positive outcome is that it has solidified Tesla's standing as a pioneer in the electric vehicle industry. The opposite side of this is that it has caused production and operational difficulties, such as the Cybertruck's rollout being delayed. The Cybertruck's delayed release date also provides insight into the dynamic nature of EV technology. Batteries are essential to electric vehicles, and battery technology is improving quickly. It's no secret that Tesla wants to improve the Cybertruck by developing batteries that are more powerful, last longer, and can be charged in less time. In order to increase the Cybertruck's range and performance, Musk has alluded to the possibility of using Tesla's new 4680 cells and structural battery pack architecture. However, the timing of the vehicle is highly dependent on the maturity of this technology. There is no denying that Tesla's delays have affected consumer confidence and market dynamics. Despite Tesla's dedicated clientele, the delays may cause some potential purchasers to look elsewhere. This changing attitude presents an opening for other automakers that are stepping up their EV initiatives. The EV industry is already crowded, and companies like Volkswagen, Hyundai, and Kia are expanding their offerings to include anything from compact vehicles to SUVs. Once upon a time, Tesla was in the lead.
Furthermore, the worldwide drive towards sustainability and stronger emissions restrictions is heightening competition among EVs. Luxury and performance are being brought to the EV market by European automakers like Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and Audi, which are rapidly electrifying their fleets. In China, where the EV market is booming, major players include BYD, NIO, and Xpeng, which are making great strides forward in developing cutting-edge electric mobility and driverless car technology. For Tesla's Cybertruck, getting to 2025 involves more than just figuring out how to make it and then figuring out how to make it work. In an industry where new technologies are appearing at a dizzying rate, it's also a race against the clock. With each pause, opportunities arise for rivals to steal customers and market share. Even smaller companies are competing for a slice of the electric vehicle industry. Lordstown Motors and Bollinger, for example, both offer electric trucks. Because of this, consumers now have more options than ever before, which threatens Tesla's monopoly in the electric vehicle industry. Risk has always been an integral part of Tesla's strategy. Tesla's approach has been characterized by Musk's tendency to test the limits of automotive engineering and technology. It was a wise move that put Tesla at the forefront of the electric vehicle movement. The Cybertruck's delays, however, pose a distinct problem, namely how to keep customers interested and confident in the face of rising competition. The stakes are no longer merely monetary or technological, but also reputational. The Cybertruck is an example of how Tesla's commitment to innovation and pushing the boundaries combines with greater social and environmental concerns. The move toward electric vehicles is a part of a larger international effort to curb greenhouse gas emissions and slow the rate of global warming. The Cybertruck has the potential to revolutionize the electrification of a market segment hitherto dominated by gas guzzlers. This potential, however, will not materialize until the vehicle is introduced to the market in a timely manner. The infrastructure for EVs is another factor that Tesla must think about. The Cybertruck, with its larger battery and unique features, may provide new hurdles for Tesla's industry-leading charging infrastructure. For the Cybertruck and electric vehicles as a whole to be successful, charging infrastructure must be developed, especially in rural and remote places where trucks are often most used. In addition, many have great hopes for the Cybertruck because of its futuristic appearance and touted capabilities. Many people are interested in this vehicle because of its unique features, such as its armored glass, adaptive air suspension system, and supposedly impressive towing capacity and off-road capabilities. Tesla must strike a balance between producing a car that lives up to the expectations and being practical and appealing to customers of conventional pickup trucks. There is a cultural issue posed by Tesla's entry into the pickup truck industry with the Cybertruck. In America, pickup trucks represent more than just transportation. They're also status symbols. Making the splash in this industry takes more than simply cutting-edge tech. It needs a grasp of the cultural significance of trucks and what they represent to a big portion of the community. Tesla's image, which has been based on selling luxury, high-performance electric sedans and SUVs, will have to appeal to new customers. However, your rivals aren't taking any time off. Traditional automakers are expanding their electric vehicle selections, with several expecting to go fully electric within the next few decades. Examples of such vehicles now under development include the electric versions of the Ram 1500 and the Chevrolet Silverado, both of which are likely to hit the market before the Stiper truck. These cars, produced by manufacturers with long histories in the pickup truck market, provide a formidable obstacle for Tesla's new entrance. As the past few years have shown, however, the global supply chain is extremely susceptible to disruptions due to events like pandemics, political unrest, and natural disasters. Tesla's ambitious plans for the Cybertruck require a reliable and adaptable supply chain that can keep up with the pace of manufacturing, while also accommodating the Cybertruck's one-of-a-kind specifications. Due of the many setbacks that have plagued the Cybertruck's trip thus far, it is essential that this be managed. Brand recognition and customer loyalty are other crucial factors. 
Tesla has built a dedicated fan base, but the delays in the deployment of the Cybertruck have the potential to erode their support.